Yeah, it's gonna be super. You wanted it loud. It's loud and in your face, right. ladies and gentlemen, right here on the internet for you in your ear holes, and apparently also live on the internet, which is weird because I wasn't prepared for showing off to the public tonight. Obviously, I'm wearing my old man sweater and this greasy ass hat. I don't give a shit. My name is Blade, everybody. And this get off my lawn. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do something adjacent to tabletop role playing tonight. This is a podcast and stream where three to four idiots get on the internet once a quarter for your pleasure and ours. I hope I to God tonight I remember. <laughs> get online one time. That's who even knows? Who knows? I can't barely remember how to pronounce my character's name, but I'm pretty sure that he is a Goliath Ranger of some Garrett? skill. Garrett? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think his name is Garrett. <laughs> my name Quickly is Garrett, our Goliath Ranger. <laughs> um. I'm just I'm just so happy to be online with the full roster this evening, uh, ladies and gents, and we're going to play some D&D for your enjoyment. And I will be playing Ball Rock tonight, and I mm. do remember my character. And I am excited I to feed Tauntaun and pet him. <laughs> and twist. that's all I have to say about it. So somebody else should introduce themselves now. Thought Tauntaun died. Hey guys, I am what? Derek. I will be playing the lovable one and only Astroth, Tiefling <laughs> Paladin. Uh, heart of gold, not much wit to him. Kind of mirrors me. And uh, he does like the bourbon too. Does hey, Astroth hey. drink on the job? Oh. Uh, don't. Don't tell. I feel like it's drinking part of the job. <laughs> it might be part of the job. Yeah. He's like, it's like a deep cover situation. Yeah, yeah. He's got to kind of blend in. He's actually been on undercover this whole time. He's been, this has been a sting on you guys. <laughs> what, what if at the end he just fucking he busts you and he's like, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got him. We got he him. Just went <laughs> undercover. You finally get the god buddy. He's like, we got him, guys. Possession. That would be a real shame. Yeah, That'd it would be. be. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. this is this is garbage. <laughs> Where is there's a very fine line between police and criminals. That's a really long play. I mean, we've been doing this for a few years. Mm. Granted, it hasn't been it's that been long like in game, years. but mm -hmm. yeah, it feels like it's probably been about a decade in <sighs> real life. In real life. So as soon as we we were one of the first on the internet. Oh, to play oh. this campaign. Oh, we're claiming that, huh? <laughs> we have not been doing good then. <laughs> we should be way higher. Well, that much should be obvious to anybody still listening. Fair. Fair Somebody's fair. here. Somebody's hanging out in the chat. We like to say hello. Don't. I do not. My computer cannot run all of this and Twitch at the same time. So, Kyle, you're I have in charge. a new computer. Do I sound like you can actually hear me? I just set it up this afternoon. <laughs> you don't sound like a chipmunk, but the camera quality looks. You do sound sterling. fantastic. Actually, really, really good. Yeah, the camera mm. does look very nice. Did you uh, did you make the sneaky sneaky purchase? Did you did you hide it from the wife? All that good no, stuff. No, I, oh. I I needed a tower for like dedicated uh, like editing, so I gave her my laptop in exchange. So it was like, oh, uh, such a good play, dude. I've done that before. You know, hey, your laptop's running kind of slow. Drums. My laptop's really good. Why don't I give <laughs> you mine? <laughs> it's all this trick. I don't have a computer. Dang. Oh, what do I do about that? Oh, Shots. Oh. Well, I guess I got to Cliff note, one. Kyle just bought a new electric drum set, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need it for Easy editing. Crazy. Oh, man, they sent me a free electric drum set. Look at that. That's sweet. Digital when I, got the, when I got the when I got the tower, they just sent. Stop looking at the who knew? Please. <laughs> just clap this that. out. You won't hear that shit. There's gifts for you on there, and you can't look at it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll take you care of the yourself? payments. Because I'm gonna go into a long-winded anecdote. If you have, I'll introduce myself. This is Todd. I'm playing again tonight because I play every week with. This is Todd. Episodes. I love that. And I will be here yeah, yeah. playing Jell tonight. He is our slow, angry, kind of acts in the moment. Uh, I'm not a Goliath. Yeah. What am I? Yeah. Oh, half orc barbarian. <laughs> what am I? Uh -huh. I've been hitting the cough, a while. A, cough syrup a tonight. <laughs> I've been drinking cough syrup oh, for a straight oh, week. Fantastic. Yeah. So if I bust out of into just random coughing tonight. 
Just go with it. We Jell's just been around so many people you... lately. He's just sick. Yeah. We should play a fun game to where if you go into a coughing fit, you have to randomly kill someone that we're around. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Because that works out control real well last weapon. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm. Yeah, I'm in trouble right now. I think, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You've been a bad boy lately. It's not I have no idea what's happening. God, I hope somebody on. does a recap. My name is Kyle. I will be doing a recap, but I'd like to tell you about this time that my my little daughter, the one who um, used her makeup brush to put poop on my face, uh, came into the room the other day. She's got an adorable lisp, you know, the little kids saying things with a, you get a little bit of a shh when they're talking to you, and it's just Aww. like you're so fucking mm -hmm. adorable. That soft palate. She still. comes running into the room earlier, and she's just like, <coughs> Wyatt, my middleest boy, Wyatt, he kicked, he kicked me, Wyatt kicked me, and so, you know, the parents, oh, honey, are you okay? Consoling. She's like, yeah, he kicked me right in the nuts. He kicked me right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't stupid or anything? God. No. No, if no, you no. would have had a fucking just something recording that. That could have been an intro. I peed a little bit with laughter, but. Oh, I would have. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so fucking adorable. Is Bob Saget still doing America's Funny Zone videos? Dude. No. Dude. I thought we were going to say that word. Dude. What? Does he not know? What did I say? Does he not know? What the fuck? Wait, do you not know? Do you... He really doesn't know. Do you not know that Bob Sag is dead? Is he dead? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking comic gold. Do you not know? <laughs> hey, what? Do you really not know he's been dead for like a year? <laughs> Come on, man. I know Don I know he's dead. I also know oh, Tom Bertrand was the last guy doing it. Why are you laughing so hard? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Derek's so excited that he's dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. We what lost a great I, one there, but I just I get so super super excited that you did not know like you were out of the loop. <laughs> Derek is one. so pumped when people are out of the loop on on like full house deaths. Yeah. <laughs> That was very specific. Candace Cameron Burr, I'm coming for you! <laughs> right down that that alleyway. <laughs> well, I mean. Oh, okay. Remember when so, Mary uh... Kate did it? <laughs> oh, dude. God bless their souls, those poor girls. I, like, bit a dick. <laughs> hey, I'm going to play the what? theme song while we get all your shit know. together, what? I guess. I because... <laughs> Wow! Are we actually doing a? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're um, still on the. I'm Our DM is illegal. Illegal. Very strange, smoky substance that I did about four minutes before. Oh. Are we like doing that? Is that the thing where we don't want people? Um, people aren't supposed to see us doing this, or what? Fuck huh? Twitch. Wait, what? I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, so uh there was a guy smoking weed on Twitch. How many uh how many people were watching? Oh nobody, nobody watching. Four? Nah, we don't give or a Or there's fuck. one person, but it might just be me. Is it me just watching myself? Because that's Probably. what usually happens. I set up a mirror and I'm just like cranking out some high fantasy. Knees at your ears. Let's Where just say that the light here? ring is for more than just the podcast. Mm. Ooh, I use the light awesome. ring to light my ring. Oh, oh. weird cock ring? Weird. Um, no, that glows in the dark. So, <laughs> no lights required. Great. No lights. Are, just no like batteries. Solid. No. Plenty of UV exposure, and my dong <laughs> is like Slimer. Um, uh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of what's going on. Yeah, are you, what? Like bouncing off the walls, or green, or um. Yes. Use yeah. your imagination, Blade. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a D and D podcast. Use your imagination. Yeah, let's just let's um, just do that. Not, yeah, that's right. That's so previously on High just, Fantasy, yeah. the uh, group of you had been all scattered to the wind as you were visiting the Golden Circle Casino and Gaming Club. Now you found yourselves in a little bit of a predicament, where you've seen a couple familiar faces, including uh, Walnut Mitchie Sprite, the pixie who first introduced you to the legend of the Godbed set out on your mission you've returned and met up with him unfortunately walnut misty sprite has met his untimely denies at the hand of jail horn handler the enraged half orc who was not satisfied with the information given and now blood and fire 
have destroyed the janitor's closet in which people purchase drugs. So, yeah, Jell killed a guy. <laughs> tried it. Right. Somebody that we know with the, with that yeah, helped that was, us. It was a before. helpful NPC. Jell, uh, we're we've been meaning to say you, you might want to lay low for a little bit. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I had my head inside the bag at the time, and I had no idea that that was going on. And I absolutely would have done something. So I'm <gasps> disappointed in Tauntaun that he didn't do it, and I'm gonna still pet him though because I love him. Yeah, Tauntaun doesn't know walnut misty sprite from adam so it was not a big deal it was just another needless murder that tauntaun is neutral about he's, Once yeah, you he's, this, he's like a switzerland back down to the main casino area the three of you were split balrock and chodek Wimpeen sitting at the bar with a bag of holding having a few beverages whereas gel was taken upstairs to talk to ziggis the uh overlord of the casino and you find that he is this large, uh, very blobular, single floating eyeball with a giant mouth. And it resembles a very, very distinct trademarked monster. And you've been told. I think that. we're allowed to say it still. Are we? Behold these Yeah, I think they, like, they said, they, <laughs> they, said they, they were going to uphold the original. Like. Mm. Mm, Shit. Mm, so. Yeah, they got a lot of bad. Hey, 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 guys! Just download. So we can say whatever the fuck we torrent, want. Torrent all of it. Anyway. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. They the good news is, is you can still torrent all of their shit, and now you can also say their shit. And here so I win, win, win. their shit legal like a sucker. What a chump! It's win, 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 win. What a chump! Steal your software, unless it's you know small businesses <laughs> support small businesses. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where we're at? What we're, we're, we're doing now? Yep. Jell was being told that he has been voluntold to participate in a bare knuckle boxing match against Todd the Mentor in exchange for the murder, basically. The actions that he yeah. did in the casino. Now, Astaroth <laughs> had seen a familiar face. When you first visited the Golden Circle Casino, there was a blue haired beauty that Jonas was very smitten with, and the th Three of you were part of a scheme to break in to uh, Mr. Benedict's office and steal a few select magic items. Now, remembering there is a vault and lots of things in this room still, but searching for this woman, you head back behind the velvet rope, talking to the uh, guard or the, um, uh, what would it be, doorman, essentially? Bouncer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's go into right. the quote unquote champagne room area where there's individual stalls shrouded by curtains with very sexy music playing. It's like classy, right? It's like a classy. It's coming back though. to me. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty classy, but I mean, it has a like, a, a, you smell bleach pretty prominently in a couple of these rooms. <clears throat> they have <clears throat> some <clears throat> The uh, blue-haired woman ducks behind some place and disappears, Astroth. And as you're searching, you fling open a curtain, surprising to see Prince Thespian, the elven prince of the Fae, hiding with a erotic dancer and cocktail in hand. Thespian! Why does your dick look like that? Now, what I think we should be doing here, because I have a... Uh, timetable I'm going to be sticking to. So why don't we all just roll for initiative Ooh. right now? <laughs> okay. That was <laughs> the most fucking adult thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it's so much sure. I don't have a pen. Uh, That's a big old 10 for me. Hold on. Good I just said I don't have a pen. I'm not listening. Well, you know what? Memory, bitch. I forgot it. Phone game. I forgot memory. it. Oh. I said 10, and then you said pen, and then I said, I don't have one. How are you? And then I said, actually, 10. Memory's pretty good there, Kyle. Yeah, it's not bad. He's I sure. rolled a 13. I got a 6. All right, Tom's got a 6. Are we fighting uh, Thespian's dick, or, or what's going on here? Yeah, wouldn't what's you like to know what's going on? You just come at me? God. <laughs> My name's Mike Fuck. 
<laughs> oh, I was like, hell yeah, I just heard that name somewhere. <laughs> it's mine on the chat. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, Astroth, one more time. You had a what? 10? A 10. Balrock was a 16? 13? 13. 13. So... This is this is very interesting, and I love that you guys have made this far more complicated than it needs to be by splitting everybody up. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Everybody gets an NPC to be with. And then it's like, all right. So I have to remember <laughs> who the NPC is and what they're doing. That should be Piece of cake. Fine. Putting you to the test. Working you. Earning that new superpower. Get some slot machines playing in the background. It's really weird that I can hear slot machines in the champagne room. <laughs> like, that's a... <laughs> they're loud. Very. You're, they're really loud. Very loud machine. Yeah, plus they do not want anybody to hear what's going on in the champagne room. Do what? Not, do not go in there. So... It smells like me... garlic. Oh, wait. Why did I do that? My notes are multiple places. That background noise has got to come down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle went from this to... Just muting it. <laughs> so many voices in my head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Good thing I have a bunch of pills to take for that. So we're going to go ahead and start with the opening scene as we leave everything off. It was exposed that Prince Thespian had this girl with a fudge stripe deluxe out and was ready to go ahead and just eat a bunch of cookies, if you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we flash forward a couple of seconds to Balrock sitting at the bar, enjoying a beverage, sitting next to Chode Equine Peen, who is kind of mournfully looking into his drink. Chode, yeah, right, man? Oh, man. This is just... Oh, this has gotten so heavy, man. It's on me, bro. I didn't even... I had no idea. I was just... We were just trying to make rent when this all started. And now we're out getting high and saving the world. I was just Which seems just like an oxymoron. Imagination. Yeah, I understand that completely, Balrax. But, you know, I don't know if I signed up for this. Balrock. Yeah. Listen. None of us signed up for it. But, but, fate has has put us on this path, Chode, and it's it's our solemn duty to find this weed and save all that we hold dear. Man, I'll go straight to hell and back with you, Barrax. I'll take you there. <laughs> It just turned into like an 80s action movie. <laughs> yeah, and then I predator handshake him. But he's so small, so it's like his entire arm in your hand. <laughs> Definitely flop him around a little bit. But for, in a friendly way. <laughs> Next to you, Balrock, then sits a woman. She's wearing a very fancy silver gown, and she clutches a small handbag. As she approaches the bar, you see she signals for the bartender. Kyle, you gotta turn your mic up. How about now? Perfect. Ooh, zesty. Hey, how you doing? Oh, well, hi there. My name's Balrock. This is uh, my little buddy Chode. Yo, we're just uh, Chode Lee Equine Peen at your service, my dear. He speaks for himself. He's a player pimp, but uh, we are adventurers from afar. I'd like to buy you a beverage this evening. You look like you like you're like you're thirsty. I just I look up and just I don't I'm super awkward and I don't know I'm start like tapping my fingers on the bar and I'm gonna definitely look to Chode and go, I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, bro. Totally at loss. He like takes his glasses and does a little like eighties like <laughs> risky business. Ball rock. Immedi I immediately make a mental note to get sunglasses. <laughs> God, that Yo, Balrax, cool. tell her that she looks very beautiful this evening, man. Miss, I don't. I know that you don't know me, and I'm twice your size. But I uh, think that you look very nice this evening, and I would like, like I said, still like to buy you a drink. You don't actually have to be by me if you want to enjoy it somewhere else. But. <laughs> 
smooth. <laughs> you are just vagina repellent. She smiles at you, and we jump cut to Astaroth. You see that Prince Thespian has his hands like in a, a field goal type position as he's looking at this uh, very, very flexible young woman. And uh, he's like, whoa, uh, you're that dude. Yeah, man. Uh, Astroth, we, we just met recently, but no, seriously. Like, why does your dick look like that? Ho, ho, ho. Is it okay? It just gives me a ho, ho, ho. So, uh, so did I, um, I saw someone come in here who I knew and I'm not seeing that person, but I, I'm seeing a lot right now. Do you, ma'am, do you need help? Is, is everything okay in here? You good? Oh, uh, yeah, man, this is my new wife. She's, this is Sir Anthemums, and she's gonna be the princess of, uh, Keebler Kingdom, bro. <laughs> I'm having, now this is the first time I've ever been to your realm, and I'm having a wonderful time, bro. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, hell yeah, uh. Astroth looks at her and he can tell that she is a stripper. Like that is not unless he just just randomly married a stripper. Okay, yeah. Um lovely. Uh so is that the only reason why you came here? Just just to kind of let loose or Oh no, I'm supposed to be like looking out for you guys and stuff, but like yeah. if you need help getting back because if if there's, you know, if you guys need to jump back, we might be able to travel together. But, like, if I lose track of you, I don't know what to tell you, man. I might just Yeah, so we should stay together because we have no idea how to... Like, like last time, total luck that we left here. So, um, if you could hang out with us, that would be fantastic. You know... You and your wife. Your wife, of course, if she wants to join. For sure. Damn. Well, do you want to join? Hmm. I'm just holding your buffs, but uh, okay. I mean, my Astroth was... was actually like thinking about it. He's like, do I want to do this? Do I want to go down this path? I mean, okay. So, um, dude, nah, man, no, nah, nah, I don't want to party. Not with you and your love. Meal. <laughs> the fuck is going on right now? I don't know. This is just having a good time. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me, let me at least buy us a round of drinks. Huh? You look like you need a fill up. Miss, huh? You need a drink? Let's get bottle service, huh? Okay, yeah. yeah like, Astroth, like, totally is forgetting why the fuck he came into this room. He's like, kind of like looking Susan says like, bottle oh. service, he's like, oh? Yeah, I, <laughs> oh? I've never had that. I've never done that. I've never had bottle service. I've got all this gold. And he just, like, pulls out, like, a couple, like, rubies and, like, gold coins, a pearl necklace. He's like, yeah, I've just got Jesus. all this money. Dude, why haven't we partied before? Like, why haven't we done this sooner? Oh, because I caught you I in my I woods trespassing, you and you were almost eaten by a plant thing. So, or yeah, I was. was. I don't I remember. Mean, like, just kind of blows raspberries. Like, pfft, that was that was nothing, man. Whatever. Cool. We're here now. We're in the moment. All right. Party. Let's do this. <laughs> he pulls his pants back up, and he's just like, "All right." <laughs> Jell, you're being led down a dark hallway. The flickering of light, you can still see the scorched janitor's closet in which Walnut Missy Sprite is, was uh, slain so needlessly. You're heading down this hallway towards the uh, arena, and you s all your uh, belongings have been handed over, so you're prepared for this, this match. Um, you know, you've got your hands wrapped and you're ready to jump in the ring with Todd the Minotaur. You've really psyched yourself up. But as you're going and uh, walking down the hallway, you hear the two uh, really dark haired uh, uh, humans walking behind you and they're talking to each other. And one of them's like, oh, has got anything good in that bag? Nothing. Check his supplies or anything, and you know, this guy, pff, Todd's gonna just destroy him. I'm sure we can get some of this stuff after he's done. I hear them and I see them and everything, so I'm gonna be like, yo, touch my shit in your necks after I deal with the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, chill, bro. All right, we're not gonna do anything. We're just here to make sure that this goes off without a hitch. And the two look at each other and they just nod and they're like, okay. You get to the end of the hallway, and there's this big double door, 
And uh, why don't you roll a perception check, Todd? 16. You see that one of the guys is already, like, kind of sifting through, looking at everything, just, like, moving it around with the tips of his fingers, trying to be real discreet, but you, you catch him fucking around. I've walked past them, though, already. Yeah, they're behind you. You're, like, a little ways behind, uh, like, the door that goes into the octagon, and these guys are down the hall, just maybe 15 feet away, waiting for you to enter. Mm. You gotta wait for I'm your music cue, and then it's gonna be your turn. All right, bud? All right, all right. That's fine. The one guy looks, and he picks up the deck of cards that's in your bag. You see that he, like, looks into it for a second, pulls out, and he's like, what are you doing? You some sort of gambler? And he flips a card over, and you can see all of a sudden it just <laughs> vanishes. The cards hit the ground, staying in the deck, and it folds closed. Fuck. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> cards do I got? <laughs> What the, f what the fuck happened to my? Wait, where'd he go? Don't touch my shit, man. I'm gonna make you disappear like that card if you keep fucking with it. Holy shit! All right, hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just leave it. Fine. And he puts the bag down on the ground and he's like, "If you make it out of here alive, whatever. Your bag's right here." Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting, I'm ready. I'm getting ready for battle. So like, I'm going into rage. I'm starting a frenzy. I'm doing it all. Let's get fucking buck wild. You hear the loud speaker uh, in the Octagon area say, Everybody welcome to the Octagon! It's discernible behind the doors, but you can just hear a crowd roar as there's just this unsurmountable cheering that's uh, just deafening. And the, the doors open, and you can see that these bright lights are showing this path that goes down. Now entering the ring, the challenger this evening, Jill Buckwild Horn Handler. Doing like a strut. You just get people I'm going, boo! Boo! Are like the lights like going and shit? Yeah, it's like just like laser do, lights do, do, and everything. Do, 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 do. So you see guys Where, are just like, like taking back Is this visible? Banging on my chest. Is this visible from the bar? From the bar, you see that there's this illumination against the wall where it's a glow, and you can see that there's bets being placed right now. And you see the odds for Todd the Minotaur are showing him easily defeating this new unknown challenger. Put, right. a, bet. Put a bet on it. So you have now entered the ring. Balrock, you see all of this, and... You know, Chode's like, hey, the uh, Balrax, man, that's it. He's on the TV, that gel man. The, the, smell, the guy who smells like piss. Who? Oh, shit. I that turn around dude, look right? at the, uh, oh, fuck, what is he doing there, man? Who's he fighting? Who's he fighting? Android Todd. Fuck. Hey, uh, all right. Shit. Well, we should... I feel like this is not good, man, because we all, like, last time, we all went against, like, regular Todd and almost all got our asses kicked. And now, uh, there, it's, he's like, Android Todd, fuck. Uh, Chode, we gotta do something, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get moving. Uh, Balrock, I'm gonna finish my drink. Forgot about the Android part. Fuck. <laughs> Go ahead and make I'm gonna finish my drink and let's, uh, oh, have my player sheet visible, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's gonna be, uh, 19. You, ugh, feel, like, a little funky. When you take the drink, you're like, ugh, like, something tastes weird. And as you look down, you see that this woman is trying to slip something out of the bag of holding. Oh. And you catch eyes and see each other. Can I grab her hand? Go ahead and roll for dexterity. Uh, that was a natural 19, so it's going to be a 25. 23. So you just grab her wrist, and she's like, ah! Ah! <sighs> Fine. What you got there? Trying to steal your bag of holding. But maybe you'd oh? like to be a part of this score? Maybe I'd talk you into a little bit more money that you might win from gambling. Maybe you tell me exactly what's going on right now before I alert the authorities as to your sticky fingers. First, what's your name? It's Danielle. Danielle Ocean. Dan... 
and she pulls a hat off, and you can see God that disguised, the auburn hair disappears, <laughs> reversed to this ocean blue, the skin of a water genasi, as she sits next to you. Like, we've Astroth. been through this before. Why would you even... <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic entrance. Like, I know you. I thought we, I thought we parted on pretty decent terms. No, there's there's circumstances now that I have to rob because I'm under blackmail from somebody else. This is the sequel. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, when it's my turn again, we'll have to talk about this more. <laughs> Astaroth, you're exiting the champagne room with Prince Cespian and his uh, newly wed uh, princess, Sir Kainstamum. Sir <laughs> Kainstamum. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you say that again? Sir Canthamum? Is that the dude's daughter? Uh, yeah, alright, so let's do, we're, we're gonna stay, let's get bottle service, alright? Um, what do you, what would you like to have for a uh, beverage, my sir? Uh, dude, whatever, whatever you're uh, drinking, you, uh, you seem to, to have a pretty good understanding of, of this realm so far, um, and I haven't gotten to really let loose here so i don't know what's good here but i just i just roll it up and then stick in my nose is what you're saying is that how i've never done this before you were you were just saying that's how a drink you've never drank before oh, no no the the other stuff you're talking about pixie dust or something i've never done this before i just oh. Well, Put the I straw mean, up my nose, right? There's a guy that works here, man. He hooked me up. His name was, uh, like, Nuts the Butts or something. <laughs> Astroth just, yeah, yeah, that guy's cool. That guy's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, uh, that guy's cool. Uh, Everybody's going to have a hard time getting drugs now. Yeah. Just fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a spike in the market. Um, yeah, so yeah, I hear his stuff is pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna do miss just just one. Okay, um, never done that before. Go ahead and roll a constitution check then if you're doing if you're just snooting some some uh, pixie snooting powders. Some pooters. Some putting some hooters. Ah, that is a. a <laughs> <laughs> ah, it makes my the back of my teeth hurt, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, my jaw. I'm, yeah, you're, oh. you're not having fun right now, so you're going to have a disadvantage on your next skill or ability check. Um, Fuck. And as you're uh, wincing from the discomfort out in the main lobby, you hear, as it seems the power to this establishment has been cut. You see that there is a yellow shield surrounding the outside of the Golden Circle in the casino. It's slowly breaking apart and melting down, and suddenly you hear <laughs> from the ceiling as people rappel down, holding these mechanical sticks, and <laughs> spray across the room as one of them hits a chandelier, comes crashing down on top of the bar right next to Balrock. Dollar, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is a... 23. You dive out of the way and Chode, you grab him by the scruff of his neck and pull him aside as this chandelier crashes down on top of the bartender, obliterating any sign of anybody behind it. Daniel Ocean I'm gonna, barrel like, roll As I'm dips. rolling, <laughs> stuff Chode back into the like little carrier, the baby carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Just fighting with Chode on your belly? Hell yeah. <laughs> Astroth, you're in the same area now as Balrock, and you see this mayhem starting to unfold, and you're noticing oh, that it's multiple people repelling in as two others are marching towards you on the way towards uh, Prince Cespian, and the the entire room is chaos. People running everywhere, getting pushed down. You see wounded from all of the shrapnel and glass. Astroth, uh sees his moment and has always wanted to say this he's like referencing like a early 2000s movie are these guys with you <laughs> whoa so i don't have any weapons uh, yeah, we, yeah we we uh, uh uh bring your wife we gotta go to my friends we we need to yeah this is bad this is really really bad all right come on street cast the mom let's get out of here man Balrog, you see Astroth has emerged from the velvet rope area. The security guard standing there befuddled, and he's just like, oh, 
not, this isn't my job. I'm not made. I'm just, I just keep people out from touching the ladies. I'm going to, uh, wave my hands and try to get Astral's attention. Cause like over here, dude, over here. Hey, I found Danny oh, Ocean. God. She tried to hey. steal from me again. Yeah. Uh, dude, I saw Thespian's dick. What is going on? What's all of this? That's weird. Uh, so he's on our side then, right? This isn't some weird shit. Yeah, like I yeah, thought, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I no, don't know what up, cool. what cool. Danny Ocean's up to. She was trying to steal some shit out of our bag, and I caught her ass. So was she being all like, seems sly like, and mysterious and shit? I'm gonna I'm uh, she... I'm gonna look to Danny real quick and ask her like, D is this is this you? Is this all you? Is this have something to do with it? Like, what's going on Good here? Play. She Good dipped play. and ran when that chandelier crashed. She is, just took off. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. God, damn it, man! Every God he looks he it. looks over and she's just just empty space. Fuck. <laughs> It's just like a, uh... a pillow with a, like a dress on it. Just like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Balrog's gonna. I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna reach behind the bar and grab the nearest <laughs> bottle I, that I can. There's a fucking blue mop on that. <laughs> <laughs> it falls over. Huh? What? Oh, that's Damn fucking it. awesome. She got me, man. Oh. I swear she was here. God, so lifelike. That's I. I don't know how long I was talking to a mop now that I'm being honest. Her drink is spiked. <laughs> These guys come up to yeah, you. Yeah, she did try like, to drug me. Yeah, they, she did try to drug you. These guys come up to you holding these, uh, like, rapid-fire wands, and they're wearing, like, very space-age strange masks. You can see that their faces are covered, and they're wearing all black. They have, like, uh, uh, a various degree of leather and belts and zippers. Give us... All of your items, and we are fast to carry you. Hey, uh, we're just trying to do a little gambling, right? Right, uh, Bullrock? I don't even have no my weapons. Uh, I'm not even, I mean, I have yeah. my bow, but it's on my back. I'm not even doing anything with my weapons. Who the yeah, fuck man, are you? Cool. Yeah, we're cool. Come on. We're, we're, we're bank robbers. We're out of this way. Give us the shit. Oh. Wait, what did he say? Did you hear what he said? He's, a bit he's got a lot of peanut butter in his mouth. He's got a bit of a he's stealing all the shit. Nope. You're robbing this place? Yes, exactly. Go for it, man. I don't got anything. I don't have anything. You go yeah, rob this fucking get... place, man. Knock yourself out. Uh, you don't have anything? Nah, man. I'm broke as fuck. Yeah, me too. Lost all my money here, so that's, if you rob the place, you'll get my money. You can tell me all your money right here. You don't have nothing? Like we left, like even to get home. We we yeah. we put yeah. all our all of our monies, but we bet it on the guy, the ring, the guy at the hey, fight. We we already bet we bet it all, so I don't have any money. What can I, what can I tell you? We have a problem. We know we he has a problem. a problem. I do really have a problem. <laughs> I almost never do this. My luck is terrible. Case in point, you motherfuckers. Uh -huh. So you uh, you gonna go back to South Park, or are you just gonna sit here and fucking <laughs> haggle us for stuff we don't have? Yeah, I guess. We're trying to break into the sashes. We just have to go back to the safe and then we're gonna steal our next dragons. Uh, so, because everybody's going to have to fight, we don't have to worry about anything with the sound of us, because we turned off all the magic, there's no magic anywhere, we use the anti magic power, so all the magic is turned off. And then, we're just gonna go in there and steal our uh, items. And then, yeah, that's it. I don't know why I told you all of our plan. That seems really... Yeah, you're a really strange bank robber. Yeah, you know, yeah man, I don't know. Don't let, me, I'm, don't let me get in your way. I just, this is, I, I'm just new right now. I'm actually a teacher. And this is just my part-time job during the summer. So... <laughs> me too, man. We're, we are also moonlighting. We are on... We are usually just hanging out, getting high. That's pretty cool. All right, well, um... Yeah, let's just get around this plan. All right, I'll see you guys later. Or, or not, or yeah, or man. Ha have a good time doing what yeah, you're man, doing. Hey, all right. you, we'll hey see, it's we'll been great. Around. Really, really, really good moves coming in. Yeah, all that. Fantastic. I, I appreciate that. The guy, I, I was just, I just walked in now, and the car was full of hot, so I didn't get on the roof. So. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. You know, this, uh, Couldn't this, even tell. Thought uh, you all came in. No, no, no. no. I had a glass mask. I was actually hiding in the bathroom, and I have terrible anxiety, and this is the first time I've done this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Good for you. You know, Good for you. Yeah, your new experiences, experiences yeah, are well, the spice of life. Uh, uh, to the resume is what I always say. 
Yeah, take care, man. That's right. Just you keep making that list longer. I would love to uh, make that connect after all this is done. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you an agent with my information. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> awesome, great. man. Great. Great meeting you. Yeah, my name's Keith. I'm sorry. Did you Keith. say your name Perfect. is Keith? Keith. 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 Kefir. Okay. All right. Well, listen, man. You have a good one. All right. Yeah. And yeah good for you. Hey, uh, Astroth Balrock, have a great, great robbery. You Don't guys are doing my fantastic. Name, Don't tell my name. Eh, it's fine. Uh, you know what? This was. I really appreciate the encouragement. I want to. I want to try. I want to hundred percent this time, and I want to do my best. Hundred percent, man. We're gonna hang out here yep. and just continue yep. to drink. If that's, we just stay out of your yeah. way. All right. Yeah. We bounce over to Todd, now standing in the octagon. All of the lights off in the casino, but you can't tell from the octagon because this is a whole separate entity, and it is just a roaring crowd as everybody's absolutely pumped for the entrance of Todd, the businessman Minotaur. Just comes stabbing in, it's like, yeah, yes, absolutely, let's do this. He do never we gets have to do uh, shit like this? So he's all pumped. <laughs> do we have the speaking stones on? Is that like a thing between you and Astroth? But uh, Gel is out of the loop on that, eh? Unfortunately, Astroth right. Astroth is testing his. He's like, yeah, man, that I'm just gonna feel really bad about killing that cave guy because, and I'm sure we're gonna have to kill him at some point. His point. name was he Keith, seems... man. Wasn't it Keith? 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 I don't know, but I just I feel bad. He seems like a nice guy, right? But we're probably gonna I, have to kill. I, I just got that vibe. We're gonna have to kill him at some point. So I feel kind of bad about it. Really, like him. we we definitely we probably missed something important with that with this whole like I yeah we're probably gonna have to kill them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although they're, it sounds like they're doing the same thing that we were doing the first time we came here too. It's just trying to steal from this crooked, shifty motherfucker, they're, and they're just a little more. Like right at Dan it, though, them. Danny. You know, well, yeah, but I mean, Danny Ocean brought us over, brought us over to her side pretty easily last time too. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was persuasive. I did, when she she's did not try to steal from mop, me again. when she's not a mop. I don't even know well, where she fucking is. Master of disguise. She could be. I could probably punch that wall, and it could be her right now. Who knows? She could yeah. actually just be a mop somewhere. Who knows? Astroth <sighs> part partook. The, the fun enough with with us being where he's like actually thinking about that like mm -hmm. she be a mom is she a mom now in the ring mom? Todd faces off with Todd as the bell rings and the fight begins just <laughs> little bobbing and weaving as Todd the Minotaur is like hey buddy I mean we can make this real easy if you just lay down I'm gonna throw one at his chin as soon as he says that fuck that <laughs> Go ahead and. Uh, I mean, we're bare knuckling, right? I don't have weapons or anything. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw one right at his chin. Dude, I I have to respect his passion. Oh, I need to probably roll for that. Yeah, you do need to roll for that. The attack, at least. That's a 19. <laughs> Punk! And you dent the metal plate across his chin, and he's <laughs> he snarls, and he's like, oh, "Ow! I felt that." Fuck! And I'm gonna follow it up with a one-two, so it's a three-punch combo, because I have three moves now. Okay. That's a three. And that's an eight. Okay. He's, he just, whoo, whoo, and does, like, a couple of uh, really swift moves. He's a bit more fast uh, than you realize he was going to be. Um, and as you are approaching, he bends down and gets ready to charge at you with his horns. That is 21 to hit. Hit. And let's see here. Go ahead and make a, a strength saving throw. Yeah. 17. You take the hit as a head butts into you, and you take eight points of damage. Right into your chest. You can feel that your ribs are a little bit tender. Okay. Uh, and uh, he he just 
like gets ready to like push you over, but you stand your ground and you withhold the mighty Minotaur. He's slightly taller than Balrock, which means he's a good deal taller than you. This is a pretty hefty beast, and be able to hold him off like that is pretty impressive. Uh, so go ahead and take your swing at Todd. Let me check something real quick. Astroth uh, uses stones. Hey, man, he's actually doing pretty good, right? You're sitting I mean, next to each other. He's gonna get the shit. He's gonna get the shit kicked out of him, bro. I can hear you. Don't have to talk into my head. I can hear you. you just I have a advantage. Astroth looks over. And he's like right fucking throw. next to him. <laughs> yeah, so strength. I get to roll again on that. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I thought that was a thing. Twenty-one. Okay, yeah, you're, that, you're, he rush. doesn't push you over with the strength saving throw, but he still Perfect. hits you. Do I take the eight damage still? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, otherwise he'd knock you prone, and then who knows what kind of, like, bullshit would happen when you're down on the ground. Mm-hmm. Dope. All right, so I am going to grab his horns. Try, I'm going to attempt to grab his horns, because I have to get up there and jump and grab them. And then give him the. Po I'm gonna pull a power knee right into his snout. Okay. On my first move, or is that two moves? I don't know how you want to do this. Let's just get freestyle, baby. Let me hear some good numbers, and then I'll just feel it out with my vibe. We'll That's a 15. Magic. Okay. And a 14. Both hit. Dope. So you're able to like grab onto him with with where he's at. It's pretty easy to grab onto his horns, and he's right at that level where you're more or less pulling yourself up to him. Instead of, like, pulling him down, you're using him as, like, a pull-up bar and just meeting his face with your knee. Great. Nice. And then, so I got that. So my final move, I'm going to go for, like, I'm going to try, like, I'm going to do a 180 around his head and lock my knees around his neck and try to Put him to a quick submission. He never saw a couple. Ooh, Ooh shiz. So trying to grapple 20. him? Nat 20. Oh! It's just Nat spinning. Shut the grapple? fuck up. Yeah, he... Shut he, the fuck up. You spin and th God. throw him. Yeah, if you get your legs around his neck. And God it's like, damn, before it's he like even an notices. Movie. And he's like... Rrr, rrr, and you've got him on, the, you know, under your... All right, dude. Head. Yeah, he, he is kind of kicking his ass a little bit. Yeah, dude. This is, this is fucking weird. Can we get a bet in? Should we get a bet in? Wait, the casino is being robbed. Are closed. I also, yeah. as since I'm in a rage, I have plus two in melee damage, but we're not really rolling for damage, but just so you know that. Can, yeah. Can I can I look behind the bar and see if there's any, like, uh, sh shit worth stealing? Because, <laughs> I mean, there's, oh, like, a ruckus like, at this point, like, right? Yeah, there's, like, a yeah. cash register. I mean, like, I'm looking for, like, potions, uh... There's some there's full bottles of liquor, of Bull, money, some vodka. <laughs> just loot. There's a cash register. You could just, I mean. Yeah. Oh, I'm looting. I'm I'm looting. I've, there's there's it, there's mayhem. I'm looting. You just like smash the cash, <laughs> punch the cash register down like a video game character, and just scoop it up and put it in your pouch. Just drop it right into the bag. <laughs> yeah. Just keep putting things in the bag of holding, like full bottles of liquor. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, what, do do you want me to add anything to that? Uh, sleight of hand. Uh, Alright, that's uh, 12. 12. So you've got 12 semi-full bottles. They're all open like at the bar of different liquor. It's your choice. This is perfect. I'm going to mix these all together later. <laughs> just all of them. And we're just, just going to make one big old bowl of slurry. It's going to be great. As soon as we settle down the next, for the next cycle... Like, like, good long rest. I'm gonna mix all these together, make a nice warm nightcap for everybody. Just a warm, <laughs> like a warm, you know, Long Island iced tea. That sounds gross. It sounds really gross. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I drink it. Prince Thespian's just like, whoa, that sounds terrible. I don't have <laughs> want to have anything to do with that. Why don't you guys make a perception yeah, check for both right. Astroth and Balrog? Oh, that's an at 20. Uh, 13 for me. You see, Prince Thespian is uh, just like, oh, that sounds awful. And his newlywed wife is behind him, raising her arm up with a dagger. 
as it slowly has a black liquid dripping from its tip. Oh, I'm going to (laughs) definitely strike out at that lady and try to knock the dagger away. Just throw a Astroth isn't as quick. He's like, he's doing the, like, somebody, ghost. Yeah, can I, can I, uh, throw a bottle? Yeah, go ahead and make it a quick, quickie. Give her what? Uh, that's, uh, 17. 17 as you, like, pating and hit the I used, I used, like, my dagger stat. Yeah, okay. I mean... Like a small throat and weapon. Yeah, it's not really going to do anything. It's going to knock the dagger out of her hand as she like, Ah, my ah, my finger! And <laughs> you uh, hear this strange creature-like voice of, Ah, dear! Ah! As this little gangly, like, black, oily skin creature appears, like, ah! And you recognize it as the creature that you met in the cabin that shapeshifted and disappeared with the other half-orc that was there, Axel. This is only two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, Thespian, your new wife is a bitch. Uh, Tauntaun, go get the, go get the dagger. Fetch it up. Go ahead and roll animal handling. That is uh, 16. Okay. As the owl bear approaches, this oily skin creature lunges for the dagger, and you see that it grabs it before the owl bear can get too close, and then swipes at it, and you see that it stands up and starts trying to scurry away. Slow drips of blood coming from Tauntaun as this black substance is slowly moving across his feathers. Whoa! That doesn't look too good, bro! Tauntaun! Come here, boy! You okay, buddy? Who? And this this black substance is slowly spreading. Astroth, help! Help! Help. Astroth, Astroth uh, quickly goes over to Tauntaun and uh, tries to do uh, lay on hands to rectify anything that's going down with Tauntaun. Okay. Go ahead and... It's a noble uh, move. Your, your lay on hands, is that the, the pool of dye for healing? Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and uh, give me however many dye you're going to give Tauntaun. Okay, so uh, so it's five to either cure a disease or neutralize a poison affecting the creature. So now's not the time to be stingy with the HP, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this, ba- I'm, I'm, I am saying this to you as Balrog, to Astaroth. <laughs> He's looking at you and saying, dude, it's fucking Tauntaun, right? So no, no, I, th- I, th- I think like five is all full I tank. to... Full tank, bro. <laughs> Tank, top him off. All right, he's getting ten. He's getting ten worth, and that's like that's that's double the amount of curing a disease or neutralizing a poison. So it's gonna should help him. <sighs> All right, as long as you got some cookies for him too. You see the he's a good boy. The black that's been emanating from the wound uh, that is now sealed up rescinds and slowly fades, then disappears. It's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. He's rubbing his stomach. You're okay. Jell, you've got okay. you've got the bull by the horns. What are you doing next? <laughs> As the child is just cheering, just oh, 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 and Todd's like, uh, "Oh, hey, come on, little guy, we could just talk this out." <clears throat> I got all of you in my throat. Do it. Tap out, bro. Tap out. I'm like, I'm gonna tap out. Talk him into it. See if he'll tap out. Look, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll persuasion. Thirteen. It's like. Uh, 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 just, I, I don't. I don't think I should. My boss will like that. So we gotta. We're supposed to fight to the death. No, nah, they didn't say nothing about death fighting. I don't want to kill you, man. Well, they told me to kill just you. Tap out. So just tap out. Uh, 
All right, hold on. And that's a natural 20 as he pulls your legs off. And and he's going to attempt to throw you to the ground. That is a 17. So do I not get my other two moves now? Uh, I I say you're going to get these two moves as a recovery from this action. This is like his reaction to being strangled. That's a it's a hit then I guess or do I have to roll against that. How does this work? Because yeah, he's he's like uh, essentially trying to pitch you to the ground. So um, he he uh, throws you down and you are able to land on your feet, but you've twisted and turned uh, very awkwardly to escape him, and you're just like not able to recover as quickly as you thought you would, um, but you're able to go ahead and take your two moves against Todd the Minotaur as he's so my, cracking his neck. Then. Yeah, you, well, you're standing up. Okay. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna sweep the legs. I'm gonna drop down, straight up sweep the legs, so I'm gonna do that first. Sweep the leg, Johnny! 23. Get him a body bag! <laughs> 23. That is successful as he boom, and <laughs> crashes down extreme force, shakes the entire octagon. You can see that the the uh, large chain link fence that's over the top of you is just trembling with the stage uh, being struck with such a force. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to undo a wrapping from my hand. And I'm gonna tie his hands together with with his feet in it like a rodeo, and just I'm gonna I'm gonna tie the bull up. I'm gonna give him a yeehaw while I hog do it. Hog tie and tied. Hog. Go tied. ahead and ru- that's gonna be a sleight of hand to see if you can tie that off. Astroth looks at that ball rock. Do you Dude, need me to don't, roll? don't don't note to self. Don't sleight of hand. Gel, man. Dexterity. I always Four. knew that. I did not. Four. I did not know this. I knew you strong, but that's. That's he insane. smells like pee, dude. That's I try insane. not to even get too close Just, to him. Yeah! As you yeah. wrap this around his arms and legs, this is massive, and you're able to keep him held down for long enough, and you hear the bell. No, son of a bitch! God damn it! <laughs> no! No, damn it! No! And you see that ziggit. This is what he wanted to play when he won. I knew that. Slowly... <laughs> comes down is like congratulations you have defeated Todd and Todd unfortunately you're going to have a very bad day and one of the eye stalks from this creature stares at Todd and you see it <laughs> strikes down as suddenly Todd has been turned to stone congratulations Todd is no longer with us I'm afraid and if you'd like to join us, I'd like to invite you as the new security guard for the Golden Circle Casino and Gaming Club. I'm good, man. I, I don't need another job. I'm, I'm good. Oh. I, uh, yeah. That hey, Astro, like? it looks like something's going on over in the ring over there. Yeah. I don't think you understand what you are saying no to. Unlock your Minotaur, boy, man. If you need a security guard, that's your own bad. That's on you. I'm fine. Well, if he can't handle a small pipsqueak like you, I guess I will have to be the security around here. Can't trust anyone. Everyone just wants to steal from me. Ziggis doesn't like that. Ziggis wants more out of life. Ziggis lost his entire menagerie of magical animals. Ziggis lost all of the money in the fires of Flavortown. Well, Ziggis lost his good friend Ramsey to these murderous hobos. Ziggis doesn't need that. Ziggis is gonna fit. I'm gonna grab that fucking eye, rip it towards me, and bite it at the core. Just <laughs> trying to get it off. What? Of yep. Dude, Fuck dude, he is a fucking madman. I'm so glad I'm on his side. He is a fucking nut job. Dude, was he, was he, at, was he in Vietnam? Was he I'm in the shit? Gonna, yeah, I guess. And I'm, a, I'm gonna let him know that I'm I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> you want any more of this? You want this smoke? I'll bring the fire. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna say that you bite his eye, and he's like, <laughs> and he just leaves it at that for him. And Jell walks off. And he's like, "Fuck in my eye!" 
<laughs> who, who bites an eye? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Dude, you, you fucking threw our DM for a loop. He didn't even know how to react to that. <laughs> You're just like, oh, dude, we are just playing. Uh, we are just fucking playing. What the fuck? Detach my retina, you freak. Dude, what the fuck is going on? I, I oh said no God. nicely. I was being polite the first time. It's on you him. did say no twice. I him. will stand up for you there. You did say no twice. The Golden Circle Casino now in shambles. The weird crowd cheering has stopped with, they're like, they just fucking bite that guy's eye. Rubble, 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 rubble. He's biting the guy, bit an eye. Don't fuck with that guy. He's an eye biter. Look an eye biter. That's not cool. Jesus. Jesus, Crips, boys. <laughs> just pull Mike Dyson. Dude, you're crazier than Mike Tyson. I've never seen Mike Tyson bite an eye. <laughs> just That's here. Mike Tyson 2.0. <laughs> Madman. Dude, we're gonna. Next episode, Joe's gonna get a fucking face tattoo of like something. <laughs> what are we? I mean, we're just sitting at the bar. Like, I, I <laughs> yeah, you guys I feel are like maybe. Me. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should go get gel. Should we go get gel? Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck man. with. He's like, I don't want to fuck with Ziggis. Dude, he. Dude, fuck Ziggis, dude. Gel's at like a level fucking twenty right now. Like Gel's on our side, dude. I know, but I see. Still kind of intimidating. I mean, did you just I, see what he well, did? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Dude, scary, I didn't think but... Todd, I didn't think Todd could go down like that. But I feel like he's kind of ride or die at this point. Like I'm, I'm still. Ziggis seems to have. I feel like he probably has a pretty great memory for the bullshit that we pulled. And yeah, that's fair. For some reason, right, um... over the last couple minutes, I've just had like a just a an overwhelming sense of the bullshit that we pulled on him. So. All right. Well, uh, well, well yeah, you guys really like un didn't even meet this guy until recently. You stole from him. You fucked up yeah. a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously we, we apparently killed people he likes down the road and that we didn't even fucking know about. I, have no <laughs> I idea. had no idea he was, t he had a tie to flavor town or Ramsey. Well, or yeah. Any of that. I didn't know um, any of that. That's right. That's like a whole so, mess of trouble that I didn't even know that we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> Astroth has like teeth clenched when he's saying that. Ooh, shit. Uh, yeah, so go get your boy because I feel like he likes you maybe a little bit more. And I'm, I'm not, I'm going to be honest, man. Kind of intimidated at, the, at this moment. I, I, he's I, raging. I, he's still got the raging going. So why don't you go, why don't you go talk to him? Maybe we can get the fuck out of here, find Danny or something, and and, and figure this shit out. Check this out. Where's, Chode. Where's, where's Thespian at? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look down at my chest. Huh? Chode, my we need man? you to go get. Huh? We I need you to go grab. Go grab gel. Wait. Go get gel. Hold we on. We need to get the fuck out of here. What? Okay. What? Uh, what do you smell? Yeah. My chodely senses are tingling, man. Dude, are you smelling some god buds? I smell. Oh, there's no magical shield anymore, man. It must have been locked away. I've got a, some sweet, piney, kind of like a candy apple, man. You smell that? Can you find it with your nose? Oh, baby, I'm a bloodhound for weed, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Hey, Bullrock, Thespian can get us out of here real quick. Apparently, he's got like a portal key or something like that. So we okay. need to bring this motherfucker too. That's being, you're coming with us, man. We uh, we did save your life, and did you get that bottle? Can we can we hmm? take I'm gonna, on the bottle? Thespian, yes. you need to carry Tauntaun. What? Carry Tauntaun? Yeah, I'm gonna need you. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to carry Tauntaun. He got hurt. I'm like, even though I know that he's been like healed and stuff, I just would feel a lot better if you just carried him. He's way too big, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got it, bud. Dude, isn't got that's it. being like an elf, isn't he? Yeah. You got he's, it. Yeah, he's like, not, you're huge, you just take, and he's... Can't you like, just put him in the... Papoose? His frame's pretty small. No, that's put for... Him. That's for Chode. In case yeah, Chode needs Chode to ride. Only. Tauntaun's like, the, like a good size beanbag chair. Yeah. Yeah. But solid. I understand the physics here. Like a love set. <laughs> <laughs> what's... Uh, what's thespian roll for strength? Oh, man. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Just like hear him like, ah, on my back! Ah! 
<laughs> Sha! Hey, Thespian, hey, let me, I'll hold on to the hey, bottle because you, you, you got Tauntaun on. With, with your legs. <laughs> and throw your back out. Cho just sniffs, like you see his, le his legs are just like shaking. He's just like. <sighs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm critically injured at this point. I can't move. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to mouth. I love you to Tauntaun. <laughs> Tonton, Tonton's just shaking at like at him holding him. He's like, oh. he's just sitting there like Google died and like. <laughs> oh my Good God. boy. All right. Joe's so uh, in the air and he's hey, like, Balrock, up there. Balrock, do you want? Up the stairs, <laughs> man. <laughs> just follow your nose, bro. Right, lead the way, boy. We're right. Yeah, yeah we're lead, right lead behind you. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna head up towards you the stairs. You are our our detector. Is the, uh, the, the, uh, eyeball? Where's Ziggis at? You can hear... He's out at the ring? Down this, this long hallway, uh, you can hear the crowd cheering, so that is the direction of the octagon. The octagon. One man enters, jacks off, and then leaves. Welcome to the octagon. What? Was that Chris Hansen? Why don't you take a seat? Please take a seat. It's just an intersection between a couple of alleys. Why don't you just have a seat here? Whoa, you're a real quick buddy. Why don't you have a seat? What's going on here? Oh, these are Funyuns. So, Jell, you're exiting the ring and walking away as Ziggis is just screeching like, What the fuck? You bite people on the eye! You didn't make any sense! It's insane! This guy's a fucking psycho! So as I'm leaving, I'm gonna go to the... Grab my shit. And... Scoop! I'm gonna... I'm gonna dress those two dudes that were rifling through it. I'm like... I believe you guys are fucking with my shit. And I'm gonna need you to empty everything you have into your pockets. And I'm gonna rob them. <laughs> Dude, you're just pouring fucking gasoline on the fire. I love it. Go ahead, redhead, and uh, roll an intimidation check. That's the spirit. I feel like he just beat he the shit it. out of Todd the Minotaur. Does he roll that with advantage? Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, good point. Go ahead and roll that with advantage. Dude, Balrock's oh, like proud yeah. of him. He's got like a little tear in his eye. He's like, he's robbing people. Twenty-three. On the second roll, the, the one, the one guy like just empties his pockets out. The other dude actually like takes his pants off. He's like, fine, just take him. <laughs> <laughs> I just throw his Just say go, just say go, man. I don't want any part of this. I don't, I don't want to even work here anymore. I quit. Fuck this. Oh, shit. Fuck this. Fuck you yeah. just bit Ziggis in the shit. eye, you fucking crazy man, man. I think I will blow your brains out. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. I'm grabbing all my shit, and I'm going to go up and meet these guys at the bar. You take off, and the guy's just like, oh! runs off somewhere, hides, and you emerge into the now destroyed main entrance of the Golden Circle Casino. Glass everywhere. The chuckle fucks are sitting and having a drink as Chode sniffing the air as he is now the beacon for the god bud on Blade's, uh, Balrock's papoose chest. Yo, what the fuck happened in here, you guys? Dab. People robbing shit. It's uh, yeah. You know, they're not really fucking with us, but um, I think Chode has a scent that we need to follow. All right. I don't think we should hang out here long, but if we got dude, I think you business. made your point. I don't think anybody's gonna be fucking with you for the rest of the time we're here. I'm really not worried about that. I mean, if we have unfinished business, let's take care of it. But I don't think we should linger. Right? Okay. Fair. Right. Well, fair. That's... Quick fart. What's up with Chode? He's oh, got his kid. nose in the air like he's sniffing ass. He smells weed, bro. That's his specialty. <laughs> <laughs> Lead the way, my dude. It's like a beacon. It like gets closer. As you're getting closer, his laugh is like just more intense. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you're hot or cold then. <laughs> Sway him back and forth. Yeah. I could just put him back in the papoose, and we'll just use him like a little, like a little weed de metal detector type thing. He's the weed beacon. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a great use for him. We just feed him and keep him happy. Yeah, he's like a Geiger just counter. 
Grab one of those <laughs> empty bottle or half empty bottles of liquor out of the bag of holding and just give it to Choden. We'll just he can drink that while he's detecting weed. Yeah, let me get a pull of that bottle first. I just here you go. Just getting was, sauced you know, up, you guys bottle. head up the stairs and you see that you're coming close to the same office that uh, Astaroth and Jonas and Daniel Ocean had struck, and you see that there is a door open off to the left and you can hear some rummaging in. You peek through and you can see what looks like Kaif and some of his uh, compatriots digging through drawers and uh, Mr. Benedict's uh, belongings. So they're stealing like fancy clothes and a lot of the other stuff. Um, why don't you guys make a perception check though, as Chode is Oh man, it's nearby, I swear it. Jesus Christ, dude, my fucking rolls. This rolled another nat 20, but it's minus 2, so 18. I got a 17. You see that Chode's like sniffing towards a wall, and you can see that there's an odd seam going across part of this bookcase. There's nobody else in this room. They all are on the side, the, the larger safe area and uh, the uh, closet, essentially. So this is this is an unexplored part of this room, as far as you know. This is this is unfamiliar territory. And as you approach, you can see that it pushes to the side very easily, exposing a hidden entrance. And Chode's like, "Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's back here somewhere, man. It's gotta be. I can taste it." Well, all right. Let's fi let's fucking get it then. Let's get it together. Think it's behind this wall. Let's do it. Let's go in there. Yeah. Do we do we know a way in? A pedestal in the what about these other guys here? Standing single file against the wall in the other side, they're they're all just fucking off uh, on the like the closet. You're, they're not noticing you because they're too busy digging through all that shit right now, Ball Rock. But all right, standing along the side, you can see that there's display cases in the secret room. There seem to be rare items in the middle of a pedestal holding this extremely a crystal clear diamond and it's almost floating as it spins there's a light shining down on it makes it everything just it's a stunning jewel but you see these random items throughout and one of which has a glass cover and you can see this ginormous single bud and it is orange with swirls of purple and as you look at it, it's almost hard to perceive as it waves in your sights. Almost like smell lines, but visual. God, do you guys yeah. see that? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's like a bit of right, so Crazy idea, guys. There's a whole lot of action going on here. Should we do, like, a supermarket sweep situation and just fill the bag of holding with all the shit in this room and then portal the fuck out of here? Yes. I feel like that's a no-brainer for us right now. Astroth, you're the only one with any kind of conscience, I guess, in this regard, so do you have any... Astroth like, if you like, feel like Astroth we shouldn't like a... steal a bunch of stuff, should maybe you should just leave the room. Astroth has a little bit of sweat, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep watch at the, at the entrance. You know, yeah, I'm just rough. with my back just against you guys. Open the gonna, portal. Security. We'll be right there. Security. Well, the thespians got it. Thespians. Oh. He's right there. I'm just going to keep watch. You, yeah, you should probably he's keep like, He's like the him. younger brother that's scared that he's going to get caught with his older brother. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep watch. And you guys do the bad thing. You knock on the fucking door. I'm going to call Tauntaun to me. Assuming that he does some more physical Ooh. damage to Thespian as he jumps off of him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 my back! He leaps off and Tauntaun's at your side. He's like, hoo, hoo, 100%. Best he's ever looked. Yeah, Tauntaun, you want to steal some shit? Off. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. I'm gonna as montage starts, grab that bud. Just like scooping everything in the room. Yeah, let's go. You grab the bud. I grab the bud. Oh, Make a wisdom that, saving throw. Shit. Nat twenty. As you grab Which this, is still just a nat twenty. 
it's still just in that 20. But as you grab this, you have the overwhelming sensation that if you smoke this, it's extremely potent. And it was probably going to have some sort of psychedelic effect because you're already getting this strange mind bending feel from it. Dude. Dude. This. Dude, this weed is. So heady. This is probably the dankest kind bud I've ever got my hands on, dude. Kind bud. Some kind This is going to make you... It's. I am so high, I am going to hallucinate, bro. I feel like it's It's, it's like going to make me hallucinate. It's bad. It's bad. He's I'm going to save this. It. He's just holding I'm going to save this, and we're going to go to a, a concert, and we're going to smoke this at a concert, and we're going to just gonna be amazing dude ball rock is gonna gently he's gonna like clear 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 out a, a bag he'll combine two other strains of of weed to make room in a bag for this weed by itself you're clearing out enough so you're putting it in a bit like a separate you're holding all of it together in a separate spot than just like the bag of holding is what you're saying well, I mean, it's going into the bag of holding, but I imagine that, he, like any experienced stoner, his weeds are separate in different bags or jars by their strain. Right. Okay, keep everything sense. organized. You have the jar. Gotcha. Yeah. And as you're scooping that and putting everything and the entire room is being cleared out of these strange knickknacks and this large diamond gel just looks at it and dunks it into the bag like a basketball, the... Uh, five of you standing around here there's just a large explosion coming from downstairs at the front lobby there are sounds of snarls and growls as of a familiar scene is now encroaching the Golden Circle Casino the seal that was surrounding it down, the protective shield no longer existing, the dark and deadly sounds of the undead as they encroach and take over the bottom floor. You can smell the oh, rotted shit. flesh as they take over, and shortly after, smoke. As I'm, like, grabbing, just like... The priceless artifacts and stuffing them into the bag of holding. I'm gonna like stop for a moment. And go. Does anybody hear zombies? Yeah, that's a zombie noise. Yeah, Sounds... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, time to go. I think, guys. Should yeah. we portal? Yeah, Are you guys ready to? Portal. Did we get everything? Do we got everything? The room is empty. Yep, yeah, got it. You portal, got way too you guys. Much shit. I'll give you a list shortly. Portal. Where are we <laughs> going? Keebler. Are you? Do you want? Do you got some sort of? Are you? Are you driving here? Or I got. I've got the pixie portal on my neck still. I can get us right back to the Feywild if where I need we, to. Where you go? Wherever we need to go, man. I don't know. Like, you guys are on the I thought, righteous. I thought journey. you. All right, for just a second, Keebler. My Think. wife turned out to be a doppelganger, yep. so I am kind of yep. lost right now. I don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> Let's forget that that even. If I tell you what. I bet you anything that your dad didn't intend for you to get married when you came here, did, did no, he? No, no, no. So I, as far as the whole thing is concerned, she's gone now, and that's like that's just what st what happens at the Golden Casino Gaming Club and Circle and Resort or whatever stays at the Golden Circle Gaming Club Casino and Resort or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. So like, we don't even have to bring that up. Let's just forget that even happened, and you can... Focus yourself for just a second. Were you supposed to tell us something important when you came here? Huh? Or were you... What was your purpose for coming? Any Anything specific besides just a way for us to get back to the to, Fae? To aid us, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to help us out. We could dip if you want to. Otherwise, I mean, I'll hang out for a little bit. <laughs> no, let's <laughs> dip, dude. Let's fucking dip. Zombies. Let's dip out of here. There's if you got a way to dip, know, so. let's dip. Wherever you are going to dip to, let's go. All of us together now. Tom Tom first. He's like, okay. And he, like, takes this, uh, like, ruby off of a chain and he throws it down onto the ground. And suddenly, this <laughs> portal opens up beneath you as you water slide down. <laughs> you open your eyes. 
the surreal colors are so familiar. Welcome back to the Fey. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the <laughs> all fuck? Places. What the fuck? Well, pretty sure that we dodged a pretty big boss fight there, guys, and made out with a bunch of gold and bullshit anyways. Hey yo. <laughs> Tauntaun lived. That was good. Uh huh. Was a little worried that about good. that for just a second. Way to yep. come through with the heels, my man. Yeah, I saw it in your face. You were like, <laughs> "This is." This we is should not... never go oh, back to that shit. casino, though. Yeah, you dude. Like... Kind of feel bad for uh, Todd. He's like in like statue form. Yep, he's stone. Kind of, kind of don't love that. Can, do we go back and save him? Do, should we have? Or should, is that is that a thing? Should we go back and rescue Stone Todd and try to? I mean, not now. De stone him. Yeah. Fucking undead. De clear out. <laughs> Gotta wait till he comes down and that's well, <laughs> I'm not I'm not at all worried about I'm not at all worried about leaving things unresolved at the Golden Circle Casino and Gaming Club. <laughs> no, it's or whatever. You just have another location that's being burned off of the map, so I don't think it's <laughs> immediately a deal at all. Like last episode was like shit, we stole a bunch of things last time. Man, I hope we don't get in more trouble here. What are we gonna do? Ah, oh, jeez. If Steal I run everything into that else. Yeah. guy, ah, let's take everything else. <laughs> Bye. I just can't stop stealing. <laughs> so, just like everybody else, just steal Makes from me your feel so alive. overlords, and it's fine. It's just it, you, you gotta, it's what you they gotta, have insurance you know. for. Exactly, FDIC insured. A lot of a lot of shit happened with that uh with that play. That was uh. I got a little spicy. Yeah, a little weird. I was worried yeah, that Todd, weird. the gel Todd, was going to die. I was worried about that, too, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. you held yourself exceptionally well. <laughs> I was well, very the, impressed. The, the, it just turned out well enough. Eyes. The hog tying really clinched it because he was, yeah. you know, unable to get out of that right away without being uh, pinned. My rolls yeah. for Todd were absolute garbage except for like the first two. So. And I was rolling hot, and then halfway through that battle, I realized I have a plus seven on my hits. So I was like, well, I better. Oh, yeah, you got to remember that. You got to uh -huh. remember the plus, the uh -huh. plus seven. That's a uh -huh. huge one Pluses there. Pluses the, are uh, important. That's a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pluses are important. I, the the oh, liquid fuck. core oh, dice are fucking awesome, man. Those dice are just You sweet. bust them open and yes. suck them clean. Hey, yeah, but we want to thank everybody rocks. who was hanging out watching us tonight, hanging out and listening to our podcast. Cheers. Maybe you can swing over to stayathomecast.com for all the details and dates and releases and uh, socials. Check us out. Social medias. Oh, I think shells. we're semi online. Sometimes the internet is a scary place, and everybody here has social anxiety to an extent. So forgive us for the awkwardness. You saw Blade try to talk to an imaginary woman. <laughs> yep. But why don't you guys go ahead and pack a bowl, roll to hit, and we'll see you on the flippity flop. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye.